Hey guys, Farmer Tom here. Welcome to episode 3 of Farming Simulator 2015. That's the one we want. Uh, since the last video then, um, I finished doing all the mowing. I started up a new thing of silage. And I've been uh, selling some of this get some funds. I still haven't quite got to grips fully with this bucket. It does take me a little while to uh, actually get it going. Uh, also I've um, harvested all the canola in the fields and I've re-sown those. Oops, crashed. And I also took a load of canola down to the transport company. So let's dump some of this in here. I had I came across an issue with this the other day when I was playing. Usually I can dump loads in here and it just kind of munches itself through it as you do it. But I actually filled these right up and it wouldn't let me put any more in. I've never come across before. I guess I just put too much in. Also, since the last video, I did a little experiment. Oops, wrong key. I bought some new machinery. I'll just dump this bucket in and I'll show you. I have to say the experiment didn't really work that well. So here she is. New tractor and a new mower. The tractor is the new Holland T6160, 160 horsepower. And also the mower is the Kuhn FC something or other. Uh, I've got the other little mower, I, I completely forgot that it was like a side loading thing, it wouldn't go on the front. And so I had to go by this one. Well, what I, I had two thoughts in mind. One is as you see it here with the front mower and then the big one on the back and I can then drive along and mow up everything really quickly, well, that was the plan. As it turns out, this tractor is woefully underpowered for this setup. And it works, but as soon as you hit a slight gradient, it just slows right down and it takes an age. Um, I also tried just having the front mower on, towing the forager, and again, it just it does work, but it's just so slow. Uh, I think it's actually quicker just to use the double mower on the back, just do a few more passes, and then the forager and the, the windrower. So for now I think this tractor is just going to um, sit here uh, until I start sort of getting into the animal side and then I can use the front loader for that I expect. But as a mowing machine it's not really um, cut up for it I don't think. Um, so uh, what I am going to do today is take this back to the farm and I'm going to pick up actually no what I might do is I was I was going to say I'm going to go back to the oh Christ look where you're going man <sighs> sorry I wasn't looking at the screen I was going to go back to the farm and pick up the forks, but what I might actually do is because I want to start chopping some trees down. And uh, what I did last time when I did that is I used the forks on here and basically just pushed and dragged the trees into the pond down at the lumber yard. But I think in the shop they actually have like a proper grabbing 
attachment for logs and trees which might make a bit more sense so if I head down to the shop and buy one of those that might give me a bit more of a fighting chance with the trees because it was a bit hit and miss with the forks I'll be honest So, once I get to the shop, I might have to buy some more trees as well. There are a load of trees down there already, but they're, um, I think they're like oak or something. And I don't think they pay as well as the fir trees. You can buy and plant a fir tree, buy like a ready grown fir tree and put it wherever you want. For about £7,000, I think. But you actually get paid once you've chopped it down, like, 10 or something, maybe a bit more. So you actually get paid for more than you buy them for, so it's easy money really. What I did find when I did it last time though, I only planted like three or four, but um, you've got to be careful where you put them, because if you plant them too close they just get in the way when you try and move them. I've just had a thought actually, um, I didn't even try this, I chopped, them dra I chopped the trees down and I just let them fall and then I tried to drag them whole into the pond I didn't try chopping them up any smaller with the chainsaw I don't even know if that's possible and um, what am I looking for ok I remember what I'm looking for um, wheel loaders log fork so I don't, I don't know if that's going to be better or not. How much is it? Three eight. Well, I'm going to buy it, and we'll give it a go. No, I should have taken that out to the farm, shouldn't I? The bucket, the bucket had to stay here. Oh, wrong button. Still haven't remapped these keys. Whoa! What are you doing? I just detached you, why are you still... So yeah, I might, if I go pick this up, I'm going to go chop a tree down and... Oops! Oh, don't tell me this doesn't fit on here. Oh, it's not going to fit on here, is it? I did, oh my god. I picked the wrong one, didn't I? I wanted the telehandler one. Idiot. I wanted that one, didn't I? I'm not feeling particularly brilliant today and I keep doing stupid things like that. I'm going to keep that one anyway because I'll probably end up using it. So. so there we go. Got a cool little grabbing thing. I don't know how it works. How do you open it? Press the mouse button for additional one. Ah, uh, oh, I see, like that. Like a trombone. Alright, so let's take this down to the lumber yard. I think, as I said, I've still got a one fir tree planted down there, which I didn't chop. So we'll go try that. It's starting to rain. Another thing I'm not sure of is, in real life, if you were a farmer and it was raining, you wouldn't be going around um, mowing stuff. I'm going the wrong way. You, yeah, you wouldn't start mowing if it was raining because all the grass would sit there wet and you don't want that. I don't know if the game physics um, sort of... Uh, I'm trying to think of the word. I don't know if the game phys physics work that way I don't know if say you harvested some hay or something I don't know if you left it out in the rain if that would spoil it or if it doesn't take much notice of the weather in the game seems lethal if someone crashed into me 
I've turned the traffic off by the way it's getting on my nerves Down over that bridge, isn't it? This thing's really slow. The tractors are faster. I love the sound in this. You can hear the water splashing around. the lumberyard down there yes it is I haven't been down to the shipping office yet and so I've been playing the game for like a week and a bit and there's still a lot that I haven't oh, there's people up here yeah. Around here. Yeah, there's still a lot that I haven't even been to yet so here is the lumberyard Yes, it is. Where's the pond? Is it down here? I wonder if you can take those. There's like a sawmill here or something. I believe you can put logs on this train. Yes, you can. There's a mission there as well. Within this mark you can any, unload any wood you have and sell it. Straight and long pieces get you more money than short and bent ones. So presumably if you've got like a flatbed trailer, you've planted like a field of wood, forest, you can unload it onto a truck and then bring the truck down here and unload it. Or you can just push them into that pond. I don't know if the money's different pays the same. So that tree there right in front of us, that's one that I planted. Um, did I plant that? I thought I planted those as well. Maybe I didn't. Maybe they're already there. So you can see I've chopped down a few. One, two, three, four, five. And there's a few over here as well. I did quite a few actually, didn't I? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About eleven I did. I don't think I did that many. So with the chainsaw, again I don't know if it makes any difference, like usually when you chop a tree down you put the the wedge shape in and the, sort of the direction you want it to fall. I don't know if this game is that realistic or if you just chop it any way you want. There she goes, which way is she going to fall? That way. So yeah, I don't know if I can chop this up into smaller logs or not. Let's have a go. Because that would make sense. Instead of... Yes, you can. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so that was a bit weird. Um, I was just in the middle of chopping up the log and the whole game crashed. And of course it didn't save anything, so I had to go back to the store. I bought the correct um, log thing this time. But I just saw this massive slope and I thought it would be fun to come up here on the way back to the lumber yard. I don't think I've been up to here. Yeah, I haven't been up here yet, up this way. I'm hoping that the crash was just a random thing and it wasn't a bug in the game for chopping up the logs or it wasn't my computer. What's that? Is that a road? Must be. So yeah, I'm going to head back to the lumber yard and try it again. It 
could very well be my computer. I've been having quite a few problems with it. I've bought a new graphics card, which I put in today. I bought the NVIDIA GTX 970. Is that way? No. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, go this way. Yeah, it replaced GTX uh, 470. So it's quite a big jump. Oh, I'm going completely the wrong way. Take a shortcut. Ooh, this looks a bit steep. Oh, God, don't go down there. Yeah, we'll um, just slowly back out of there and go the long way round, I think. There's loads of trees up here you could potentially cut down as well. thinking this was a bad idea. Oh, Christ. Okay, here we go. Back on the road. Can we get to the log thing this way? Must be able to. Right, so yes, we just chopped this tree down and then the game crashed. I don't have to park there, do I? Because it's the railway. So let's try it again. And hopefully this time. Timber! Right, so let's try and make you into a log. If it crashes again, I apologise. No, we're still there. Okay, so we've got have a log. So I will attempt to pick up said log with my new gizmo. Which could be easier said than done. So you want to open it, drop it down, tilt it a bit, not that much. Down a bit. That's not working very well is it? Not really. <laughs> I'm going to snooker it all the way down. Mm, that's not working too great, is it? Ah, oh, now I'm stuck on the log. I'm stumped. The forks aren't down enough, but I can't go much more. And why won't they just slide under it? going very successfully. I think it's actually quicker to push them. Oh, man, I don't think I had it then, but I Aha, there we go. Now, clamp it, tilt it up, 
trouble is on the right on the wrong it's gonna slide straight out isn't it ah we got it we got it we got it up 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 ah. but I think it's probably easier just to lift the whole tree up right do not drive in do not drive in do not drive in put that down um, sliding. Oh, this isn't going well at all. I can't remember how to. I can't open the fork. There we go. Go. Now that worked, didn't it? Oh man. Okay, so push. Push. There we go. Well, it's on 921. I've got 935,000 now. And that's just for that little bit of log. Oops. So, what I'm going to try and do is I'm just going to try to pick up this whole tree. It might be too heavy. There am I? Right. Because you can't actually really see very well. Almost. Just can't quite get on it. Infuriating. Just, the forks won't go underneath the tree. Aha! No. Ah, oh, so close. So you know what? I'm just going to go around the other side and push it. Got to be easier. Oh, it's stuck in there. Do you know I said in the first video that I'm not a pro gamer? Do you believe me now? Oh no, I've just driven into it. trees roll really funnily considering it's got all these branches on it oh, this is not going well So it would drive through the tree, that's not good. See, this is, you need it up in the air a bit like that, so you can get the forks and... Uh, and that's... oh god almighty. Okay, maybe I can push it now. You know what, I don't think this is worth the effort. I really don't. Alright, I've 
got it clamped now. There we go. Now I can push it. Now I can release it. And then it's just going to sit there and roll about. Oh, come on. In, in, in. Oh, give me a break. There we go, 935 to 951. God. Okay, so I'm not going to do any more of that in this video. Because that is ridiculous, I need more practice with that. I'm just going to leave this here though. Because I'm going to come back and try again. Alright, let's see. Ooh. Ah, it's wood chips. I haven't got any of those. That's what I, could, I wonder how you must be a machine you can buy to make wood chips. I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to save the game. In case it crashes again. Uh, I want to see these are all growing. There's nothing ready to harvest. Um, even the grass isn't ready. Oh, well, I might as well leave it there then. Um, I've got nothing to harvest. I don't want to buy any more fields yet. I'm going to go have some more practice at the um, tree felling, I think. And hopefully I can go plant a few more trees and start making some good money from it. So there we are, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Sorry about the crash in the middle. But uh, I'll see you all in the next episode, episode 4. So take care guys, keep on farming. I'll see you all then.